Hey guys, thanks for joining us back here at the Range Report, and today we're coming with you from my office in Mint Hill, North Carolina, and uh, as you guys know, SHOT Show was last week, but unfortunately we didn't get the opportunity to get out there because we're still dealing with a little bit of a residual injury that we still had to have some medical issues with, and uh, you know, one thing led to another, we just couldn't pull off the trip, but we did keep you know, close note on everything that was going on out there, and there's, there was a couple of handguns that were introduced that we are still waiting to get our hands on. But one that really caught our eye is called the Rost Martin. Uh, it's an American company out of Dallas, Texas, and they've produced a. No, oh, all right. Look, do do we need one? I don't know. Another polymer frame strike a fired nine millimeter in the semi-budget category. These things are running about $450, $475. Uh, we managed to get our hands on one. And uh, today we're just gonna do a quick unboxing video for you to show you what comes with the gun, explain a couple of the features. And tonight, after we go live for our uh, weekly roundtable podcast, uh, we're gonna be heading to the range about 1 a.m. where it should be nice and quiet. We're gonna put this thing through its paces and see what it does. Now, without any further ado, the model is called the RM1C. Now, that's the Rost Martin 1. We're imagining the C is compact because it is a compact gun. And what you're gonna get is a nice little cardboard box. No case, uh, I guess it's means of trying to keep the cost down. And inside the case, what you're gonna get yourself, let me clear some of this paperwork out of the way. You're gonna get yourself your firearm, two magazines, Below that, you're going to get uh, your instruction manual, your lock, you're going to get an additional plate because, yeah, this thing is uh, cut for an optic, and you're also going to get a couple of additional back straps. Now, before we get into that, we're going to talk about the gun real quick. You're going to get two magazines. You're going to get one that's got a flush base to it, and this is a 15 round magazine, and then you're going to get one that's a plus two with a little bit of an extended plate on it. And this is going to be a 17 round magazine. It's still the same body as the 15, but you're going to get two extra spots out of it. It doesn't say it, but you're getting it. And here is the RMC, uh, well, the Russ Martin 1 compact. Now, if you look at it, it kind of looks kind of familiar. There's a lot of new, there's a lot of familiar with it. Uh, you might hear my dogs bark, and my wife is just walking back into the house. Uh, it's kind of reminiscent of the Canic line. It's got a slide that's very reminiscent of it. You're looking at a lot of the same features. You've got a little sight hole indicator there for a loaded chamber. You've got a striker fire indicator on the rear. Your sights are very simple. It's a U and a big dot in the front. These are non-luminescent. There's just a white dot sight on it. Uh, the grip is very comfortable. Uh, it's, very, it's still, like I said, it's a compact, so I'm not getting full, you know, contact with it unless I put the magazine in it. Then I'm getting full contact. It jacks really, really nice. Uh, it's a comfortable grip, and we're looking at this thing. The bore axis on this thing looks to be pretty low, and. Like I said, we haven't had any rounds through this yet, so we have don't know much about how the gun is going to perform. We know it's got a four-inch uh, target barrel on there. That is, let me see if I can't get that in frame for you. It's a nice flared barrel. Uh, it's flush fit, so you're not going to be running a suppressor on this thing. We don't know if they're going to eventually have one that's got the four and a half or five-inch barrel for suppressor ready or any of the other options that you might expect. It's got a little bit of a flared magwell to it. Now, yes, just for everybody knows, we are clear, unloaded. Uh, what I found to be really exceptionally nice so far about this in dry firing is there is practically no take up in the trigger. It's all wool. Got a little bit of creep and a nice break, but watch this reset. We are talking about under an eighth of an inch, and we're probably looking at about four and a half to five pounds on it. Uh, the reset on this, the trigger on this thing is exceptional. 
it really is it feels it just feels really nice you got a really nice trigger shoe under there you got a transfer bar safety on the you know, little dingus on there it just feels really good now the takedown on this thing is you know very glock like you pull it back a little pull your tabs down but you don't have to squeeze the trigger on it you've got a captured recoil spring on a solid steel guide rod and you've got a pretty nice hefty four inch barrel uh, you know ramp is integrated into that thing very 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 reminiscent of the canic slide now we're not going to go trying to take apart the canic and see if parts are interchangeable on, on this or not but we looking at underneath it the machining under this is very very nice very smooth machining uh, there's no bleed over in any of the color uh, there's it, it's just it looks it looks really good uh, now how will how that translates into performance now putting this back on you don't have to come from the front you just drop it right back on to where you started come back a quarter of an inch boom locked on ready to go so this is the Rost Martin it's R-O-S-T Martin M-A-R-T-I-N out of Dallas Texas this is says made in America we're going to verify if it's made in America or assembled in America because a lot of the components on this thing look a little familiar to some of our uh, Turkish uh, counterparts. But we're going to get this to the range tonight after our show. We're going to run a couple of hundred rounds for this thing. Uh, really try to break it in well and give you a, an honest assessment of this thing sometime this weekend. So for now, this is Frank at the Range Report. You guys be safe, shoot straight. And remember, if you could, please, we appreciate it. Hit like, share, subscribe, throw a couple of comments. If you have any questions, and I do expect there to be questions about this because this is a brand new model, and I think we're going to be one of the first people reviewing it, please ask your questions below. If we have the answers, we'll try and answer them for you. And uh, until then, just stay tuned for this weekend when we get this thing out and get our range report done. Catch you guys soon. Thanks.